Hi, I'm Paul Drew. I'm a producer and a mix engineer. In this video, I'm going to show you the new features of Vocaline Project 3 ARA and its integration with Studio One 3.3.1 and above. Now, first of all, inside of Studio One, you'll notice some new features. If we go up to our audio menu here, click on audio, and you'll see these two new features here, edit with Vocaline and remove Vocaline. I can also assign these with shortcuts. If I go up to my Studio One menu here, come down to keyboard shortcuts, I'm going to type in here, Vocaline, or just VOC, and then the Vocaline keyboard shortcuts will appear. To assign the shortcut keys, I need to click in the Enter key box. For Edit with Vocaline, I'm going to use Shift V and push Assign. The shortcut I'm going to assign to remove Vocaline is Alt or Option Shift V. You might already have these keys assigned for other shortcuts. If so, choose something that fits for you. Push Assign, then Apply, and lastly, OK. If I now go to my audio menu, you'll see that my shortcuts appear here. Shift V for edit with Vocaline and Alt Shift V or Option Shift V if you're on Mac for remove Vocaline. So now let's process some audio using Vocaline Project. But first of all, let's listen to the audio we're going to be working with. Let's start with audio one, which is the guide vocal. Vocaline lets you lip sync and tighten the same or different voices in unreal time. Now let's listen to audio two, which is the dub vocal. Vocaline lets you lip sync and tighten in the same or different voices in unreal time. <laughs> and now let's listen to them both together. Vocaline lets you lip sync and tighten the same or different voices in unreal time. Unreal <laughs> time. As you can hear, these two vocals are completely out of sync with each other. So all I have to do is to highlight the regions, and I can either come up to my audio window here and click on Edit with Vocaline, or I can use a shortcut, Shift-V. So let's use the shortcut we created, and I hold down Shift and V. As you can see, the Vocaline Project ARA window has appeared. Initially, you won't see the audio appearing in the Vocaline Project window, because we need to tell Vocaline which are the guide and the dub events. And to do that, I simply just drag the lead vocal into the guide window in Vocaline Project, and the dub into the dub window in Vocaline Project. Once we have put a dub track into Vocaline, it will automatically edit the dub to match the guide's timing and have it ready for playback instantly. Now let's hear the two audio events that have been automatically aligned using Vocaline Project. Vocaline lets you lip sync and tighten the same or different voices in unreal time. <laughs> now as you can hear, these vocals are completely in sync with each other. I will now solo the dub's processed output so we can hear the quality of Vocaline's processing. Vocaline lets you lip sync and tighten in the same or different voices in unreal time. <laughs> in the second example, I want to match the timing of the dub vocal and the low dub vocal to the timing of the lead vox. But first of all, let's listen to the tracks we're going to be working with. Let's play the lead vox to start with. Cause we keep it all in. To stop the world from breaking If you open up Instead of holding out And now let's play the dub vocal Cause we keep it all in To stop the world from breaking if you open up, instead of holding out. And lastly, let's play the low dub vocal. Cause we keep it all in. To stop the world from breaking. If we open up, instead of holding out. And now let's play them all together. Cause we, Cause keep, we keep, it keep it all in To stop, stop the world, world from breaking If we open up Instead, instead of holding, holding out, out. You As you can hear, they're all completely out of sync with each other. And as you can see on the dub track, we have three events. Because ARA only lets us process one event at a time, if we want these separate events to be processed together, we need to merge them into one event. So I simply highlight the event and push G to merge them together. 
Now these events have been merged, let's use Vocaline Project to synchronise the timing of the dub and the low dub to the guide audio, which is the lead vox. To insert the process on all three audio events, I'm going to highlight the tracks. And instead of using my shortcut this time, I'm going to go up to my audio menu and select Edit with Vocaline. So now I simply drag my lead vox into the guide window and my dub into the dub window. Notice the yellow trace showing how Vocaline has aligned the dub's energy and it's superimposed on the guide's energy. This allows you to inspect the traces for accurate alignment and any errors before you even play it. In this case, we can see that the patterns have lined up exactly. So now let's hear the files that have been processed. Cause we keep it all in. Let's do the same to the low dub by dragging it into the dub window. If I zoom in, you can see that there's a discrepancy with the trace not lining up around here, which indicates that this won't be in sync. So let's listen back to those two files to hear the problem. Cause we, Cause keep, we keep it all in. Now this audio is slightly harder to work with, so I'm just going to change the flexibility down here, and let's change this to high flexibility. You'll see that the speaker icon down here has a warning saying it's not ready. I now push the process button, and the speaker icon has turned green to say it's ready. Now if I zoom in, you'll see that the trace is far more aligned, but it's always good to check by ear to be certain. So let's hear the aligned files. Cause we keep it all in. Now let's drag the middle lead vox event into Vocaline's guide window. And the middle dub event into the dub window. And let's listen back. To stop the world from breaking. Both files are in sync, so let's do the same with the low dub and listen back to all three files. To stop the world from breaking. As these files are perfectly in sync, let's move on to the third set. And I'll drag the lead vox into the guide window and the dub into the dub window. And let's hear these together. If you open up instead of holding out. And lastly, let's copy the low dub into the dub window. And again, we can see that there's a discrepancy with the trace here. As before, let's try using high flexibility. Push process and play back. If you open up instead of holding out. Now this hasn't worked, so I'm going to try maximum compression this time. Push process. You'll see the speaker icon says ready. And as you'll see this time, the trace is far more aligned. So let's hear back. If you open up, instead of holding out. Now in Studio One, I'm going to zoom out and let's hear all the files together. Cause we keep it all in. To stop the world from breaking. If you open up, instead of holding out. And now let's hear it back with the music. Cause we keep it all in. To stop the world from breaking. If you open up, instead of holding out. Now that we have processed some audio with Vocaline Project, I'm going to show you some of the new features. So in Studio One, you'll see up here, I'm using my time base in a seconds format. If I change that to bars, so I can see all of my bars and beats here. Now in settings inside of Vocaline, I click show times of audio in guide and dub and list and ruler. And as you can see, I've got three options here. Seconds, which shows my seconds here. Bars, which then it shows my bars and they completely sync up with Studio One. So if I now click on an audio region that I processed earlier, you'll see that the bars and beats correspond in Vocaline to Studio One and vice versa. And as you'll see by clicking on the time ruler here, Studio One will correspond accordingly. If you have processed lots of guides and dubs and want to see a particular guide and dub pair, just click on the dub event in Studio One and the dub and guide will appear in the Vocaline window. If we zoom out, we can also see all of the audio files that we are processing throughout the song. With this last piece of audio, I'm going to show you the problems that can occur with too much silence at the beginning and at the end of audio events. 
So first of all, let's listen to the audio. Vocaline lets you lip sync and tighten the same or different voices in unreal time. Unreal time. So again, let's highlight the regions. I'm going to use my shortcut again, which is Shift and V, to edit with Vocaline. Let's copy down our audio one into my guide and my audio two into my dub. So instantly I can see a problem with the trace. So we will hear that the dub vocal will start earlier than the guide. And let's hear the problem. Vocaline, Vocaline lets you lip sync and tighten the same or different voices in unreal time. <laughs> now, as you can hear, we have issues with the beginning and the end. So let's come back here and I'll just zoom in so the events fit inside the Vocaline windows. To fix these issues, what I need to do is to move the blue and the orange sliders so they're about a quarter to half a second before the audio starts. So as you can see here, I'm going to move the blue to there, the orange to there, and now I'm going to move the blue to where the guide audio ends. Notice again the not ready indicator, which shows that Vocaline is waiting to know when you are done making manual changes to the processing controls. I'm going to push process, and now notice how the speaker icon has turned from red to green to say that it's ready for playback. And let's hear it back now. Vocaline lets you lip sync and tighten the same or different voices in unreal time. As you can hear, perfectly in sync. Now that I've processed the events with Vocaline project, if I now want to move these events about, I simply click on the event, go down to render, and we're free to move these events around to wherever we want. There's also another version of Vocaline, which is Vocaline Pro, which is an upgrade from Vocaline Project. Let me show you how that works. So just to remind ourselves, let's listen back to the audio before it's been processed. Vocaline, perfect lip syncing, without it we'd be sounding like three sheep. <laughs> now if I highlight my three regions here, and I'm going to use my shortcut for Vocaline, which is Shift and V. Now as before, I'm going to drag my guide into the guide window here and my two dubs, I'm going to highlight them together and I'm going to drop them into the dub window. Now let's listen back. Vocaline, perfect lip syncing. Without it we'd be sounding like three sheep. <laughs> so one of the differences between Vocaline Project and Vocaline Pro is the ability to drag in multiple dubs into the dub window. There are other features in Vocaline Pro that are different to Vocaline Project, and we'll go through them in another video.